Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet in terms of the intro. Do me a big favor and hit that red subscribe button and of course turn on notifications. I have a lot of tutorials coming on Alpha Omega. This one is how to build or how to get the orange ray gun. Hope you all do go on to enjoy this video and without further ado, let's get right on into it. Just very quickly, the way this works is you need to have the power on, you need to have pack punch activated and I'm assuming you already know how to do that. I'm also going to show you all the Raygun parts and all of their locations and how to set up the sequence for the Mark II as well. So now that we're all on the same page, let's get into the locations. So I'm assuming you know Yellow House, the first part is the wire. Now I can't actually be on the chair just as I marked there, if not it's going to be upstairs in one of two locations. One is just on the sort of bookcase or wardrobe there and the other one is on the lamp but ours was on the bookcase. And yeah, to access the next two parts then you have to actually activate the ventilation system which is the first step in actually getting pack a bunch. I have a tutorial on my channel for how to get pack a bunch and you actually need to um, do a further step. So yeah, once you finish up the ventilation system, you actually want to head on into storage, which is just the left hand side. So it can be on the top of these canisters here. If not, it's going to be on the back of this metal shelf right here, um, right where I knifed. And uh, the last one I actually walked by, I knew it was somewhere on top of these canisters, um, but it's just there as you can see me picking it up. And um, I'm sort of running from the zombie here. Then you want to head back to generators and into solitary, which is sort of the red lighted uh, corridor that heads up and um, basically the first location is right here on the desk the next location then is on the chair just where I marked there and if not it's over the other side of the room in the corner over here on this sort of metal tray um, and that is your three ray gun part locations. The next step is um, basically you have to finish the sort of pack-a-punch activation basically do the ventilation things on all the fans um, for each of the houses there's only four you have to do and then pack punch is activated and then the next step is then you have to charge souls on four different TVs around the map each TV is going to give you a number I'm just going to walk you quickly through my process basically the first TV location is at the back of yellow house and the number that I got from this TV was number six you have to walk over to this TV and hold square because it comes off as a big static noise it's very hard to miss the next one is down on the APD control room and it's basically over here, hold square on that and then um, basically feed its souls. It's going to give you a number. The number that I got was um, number two. So I already had six and I had two. The next one is in diner. So that's the second one down in the bunker. Pretty much the exact same uh, process. I think it's like eight zombies you actually have to feed through this. And the number that this gives me then, of course, is number two again. I quickly glance at it just because um, a lot of zombies sort of come and overrun me. And the last location then is um, back at the starting area. It's just in the corner here, tucked away behind the yellow fences. It's actually, I nearly missed it. It took me ages to find this one. Um, so basically, just kill a couple of zombies, feed the souls, and um, when it does give you a number, that is the last TV. So um, my number is seven. So the numbers that all together that I have are six, two, two, seven. You want to head on into the operations room. The keypad now appears. So I input my number. It's six, two, two, seven. Your numbers are going to be different. And um, I've gotten that exact order of root of TVs, even though there's other TVs that appear on the map. Um, so I'm assuming that's the way to do it. Uh, then basically the Raygun Mark II, the four of them, the shells actually appear there. I just picked my Raygun Mark II shell up. Um, and then you can run upstairs, there's a buildable table here. That's where you'd really want to put your Raygun kit. So all the way up to this point entitles you to build any of the four different Rayguns. We're now going to go on to how to build the orange Raygun, which is one of my favorites so far. It's actually a bit tricky, but it does start similar enough to the yellow one. It starts a pack-a-punch. You need to get a pack-a-punch weapon with the perk of a brain rot on the actual weapon then the next step is then there are two locations for two piles of dirt one is behind greenhouse and one is behind yellow house in my lobby um, it was actually behind greenhouse and all you have to do is shoot a zombie so that his brain rots and um, as long as you're standing on this pile of dirt the zombie is actually going to dig it up and give you the fuse so all you have to do is pick that up and then you have to go charge it. Now at this point you should already know how to build the teleporter pad and have a rough idea of where they're all located on the map. If not all you have to do is do one full circuit and you can sort of pretty much know where they all are. 
basically there's going to be an orange orb that appears on top of one of them. In my case, it appeared in solitary. And what you have to do is shoot this with your brain rot pack punch weapon, and that's going to appear at another one. Now you have to take note of both of these locations because you have to put a teleporter pad on one, which is solitary for me, and on the other, then which is in the beds location. So you want to take your teleporter pads and put them on um, the first and second location in that order. I don't know if it affects it, but you might as well be safe. Um, and then what you want to do is shoot it with your brain rot pack punch weapon. That's going to disappear, and you have to hop through the teleporter and you're actually going to see the orange glow as well and then when you come out of that what you want to do is actually shoot the orange orb and a circle will appear that you have to feel souls to or it's going to disappear and you have to go find it and it's normally in the direction that it floated away in mine sort of floated in the opposite direction to the actual teleporter pad and um, it actually ended up in storage and you shoot this with the brain rock item i held square in it one of them worked and then you feed souls to this fuse pick it up and then similar enough to the last upgrade, you walk on over to the Raygun kit, which is best if you put it upstairs in Rushmore's house. And voila, you have the Raygun Mark II, the orange upgrade. I think that's what we're calling it in the community. This is actually really good. You can actually um, sort of single fire this or you can charge it up. The yellow one isn't as good in terms of charging. And this is actually really fun to use. It's one of those wonder weapons that you can spam at your feet and it's gonna do a lot of damage and kill a lot of zombies. Without further ado, I'm gonna leave the video here. Guys, make sure you do, once again, subscribe for more zombie videos like this one. And without further ado, I'm gonna leave the video here. Peace out, thank you all for watching. And I wish you all the best of luck in DLC 3 is Alpha Omega.